Looks like Errol Spence knows he's about to lose his next fight against the six foot six Sebastian Fundora. Looks like Errol Spence got no confidence going into his next fight. It looks like Errol Spence either needs money or the man is just crazy. Maybe it's both. But Errol Spence tweeted out, this might be the last time you see me. And as y'all can see, the man deleted the tweet. Now, why would a fighter going into a championship fight already be tweeting that this may be his last fight? I will tell you. Because Errol Spence deep down knows that he is damaged goods. If I ain't one of your kids. I'm going to tell y'all why I believe Errol Spence is done and why he may believe he's done too low key. The accident. Errol Spence was never the same after that car crash. I don't care what y'all say. And when you in a coma after suffering a horrific car crash like this, you ain't never gonna be the same. And do y'all remember, Errol Spence was actually in a second car crash that time he went on Instagram Live. A lot of people forget about this accident. Errol Spence went on IG Live after his car got totaled. Maybe the man took some more brain damage in this car crash, who knows? Then there is the cataract surgery. The retina surgery and that beatdown he took from the pound for pound king Terrence Bud Crawford. How much damage can one man's brain take? I'm so sorry. I think Mr. Slender Man is gonna cook Errol Spence. Just look at this picture. The size difference is crazy. And I truly believe that a fighter like Errol Spence should not be getting a title shot after he just lost his last fight by stoppage. Errol Spence basically got ran out of what's away. Terrence Boyd Crawford beat the brakes off the man. So why would you give him an immediate title shot against Sebastian Fondora? I will tell you. Maybe Al Heyman even knows that Errol Spence's time is done. Maybe Al Heyman is protecting Errol Spence low key by offering him one last ass whooping before he retired. Now which one is it? I can understand if Errol Spence just came off a split decision loss in his last fight to Bud Crawford, but it did not go like that. Errol Spence got dominated. The man got dog walked. Errol Spence Jr. got stepped on by Terrence Bud Crawford. The fight wasn't even close. What y'all think he gonna do at a higher weight class where the fighters punch harder? The fighters are bigger. I truly believe this will be Errol Spence's last fight. And I think Errol Spence knows that this is going to be his last fight. Talking about this might be the last time you see me. It's definitely going to be the last time we see Errol Spence. But I ain't one of your kids. And Ring Magazine just released a top 10 pound for pound. As y'all can see, Oleksandr Usyk is now number one after that victory against Tyson Fury. But why is Nayua Inouye number two, Bud Crawford number three? Just last week, Nayua Inouye was number two, right below Terrence Bud Crawford. How does Terrence Bud Crawford go from number one to number three? How does Nayua Inouye stay in the same exact spot that he was last week? How do you just jump a fighter from number one to number three? I will tell you because the American boxing media just loves to bow down to Mr. Nayua Inoue for no reason at all. Horrible fighter. I don't even take pound for pound list seriously. Low key, a pound for pound list is just some goof troop sitting behind a desk over at Ring Magazine, ESPN, wherever, and he's giving his opinion. How you just gonna put Terrence Crawford from number one to number three and leave Nayua Inoue in the same spot? Now you were in your way. Ain't nothing but a hype job in my opinion. You won the belt with nobody. And it was only a matter of time before Devin Haney started clout chasing again on Twitter. It was only a matter of time before Devin Haney think people forgot about that ass whooping he took to Ryan Garcia. And now he clout chasing again on the internet. Devin Haney retweeted this. Talking about Pitbull Cruz is a champion at 140. The fight to make is Pitbull versus Devin Haney. As y'all can see, Devin Haney tagged Mr. Turkey Alashiki, the biggest culture vulture in the sport of boxing. And I definitely believe in Jesus. I'm trying to tell y'all, I ain't never seen a fighter like Devin Haney. Devin Haney is a special type of fighter. How you gonna get whooped in your last fight by Ryan Garcia? and don't even entertain a rematch. How you gonna get cooked by Ryan and in your very next fight, you calling out Isak Pitbull Cruz 
And why is you tagging Mr. Turkey Alashiki? First off, Pitbull Cruz, just like Ryan Garcia, just like your Jokic Gamboa, is another one of Javante Tank Davis' leftovers. Hey, yo, Devin, didn't you learn your lesson from fighting Javante Davis' leftovers? Hey, yo, Devin, didn't you just get whooped by one of Javante Davis' leftovers? Let's be real about this situation. What y'all really think Isak Pitbull Cruz would do to somebody like Devin Haney? A man who ain't got no type of chin, no type of punching power, no type of boxing skill or defense. In my opinion, if this fight happens, Isak Pitbull Cruz is going to run Devin Haney over the same way he ran over Rory Romero. Southpaw's a piece of shit person. But when you really think about this situation, when you really put some deep thought into this fight, Low key, I want to see the fight because I know what's going to happen. Isak Pitbull Cruz would retire Devin Haney. I truly believe Devin Haney needs to take about a year off of the sport of boxing. I think he needs to vacate that belt and give himself some rest because the last thing you want to do if you Devin Haney is step into a fight with a fighter like Isak Pitbull Cruz. Isak Pitbull Cruz cannot be hurt. You cannot knock out Isak Pitbull Cruz. Javante Tank Davis broke his damn hand trying to knock Pitbull out. What makes you think a pillow fist like Devin Haney is going to beat Pitbull Cruz? I got Pitbull Cruz stopping Devin Haney and possibly retiring Devin Haney. Hey, yo, Devin Haney, you crazy, bro. The Javante Tank Davis obsession has got out of hand, bro. You beat Gamboa, somebody who tank beat, congratulations. But you got your brains beat out by Ryan Garcia, somebody who tank Davis stopped. What makes you think you stand a chance against Pitbull Cruz? Yeah, 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 yeah.